During World War I, the British Army had defeated the Ottoman Army in the Middle East during the Mesopotamian Campaign. Afterwards, Mesopotamia became the British Mandate of Mesopotamia. From 1920 to the early 1930s, RAF Command was created as an inner service command in charge of all British forces in the Mandate-controlled Kingdom of Iraq and was commanded by an RAF officer normally of Air Vice Marshal rank. In 1932, the British mandate in Iraq ended, and according to the Anglo-Iraqi Treaty of 1930, the British were permitted to keep troops stationed in Iraq. By the late 1930s, these forces were restricted to two Royal Air Force stations. On April 1st, 1941, during World War II, Rashid Ali seized power in Iraq through a coup. Ali was supported by three senior Royal Iraqi Army officers and one Royal Iraqi Air Force officer known as the Golden Square. Ali proclaimed himself chief of national defense of government. His new government was immediately recognized by the Nazis and was openly pro-German and anti-British. British ground forces included number one armored car company RAF and six companies of Assyrian levies that included 2,000 officers and men of other ranks under the command of about 20 British officers. The armored car company had 18 old Rolls-Royce armored cars that were built in 1921 for the RAF. On April 10th, Major General William Fraser assumed control over the Iraq force, which was composed of British, Indian, Assyrian, Iraqi, Australian, and Gurkha forces. The land forces from India headed for Basra with orders to occupy the Basra Shabai area to ensure the safe disembarkation of further reinforcements and to enable a base to be established in that area for operations. With the start of the Anglo-Iraqi War, a force from the British Mandate of Palestine known as the Hab Force as part of the Iraq Force advanced into Iraq from Transjordan and was to relieve the British garrison forces besieged at the Royal Air Force Treaty Base of RAF Habaniya. However, the threat to Habaniya was removed by actions of the garrison before any elements of the Hab Force arrived. After it arrived, Hab Force and a portion of the Habaniya garrison then advanced through Fallujah to capture Baghdad with the Iraq Force. The main group of the Iraq force went from Basra to Baghdad, arriving on May 27th with air supremacy. By May 31st, an armistice had been signed with the government, which had collapsed. This video is not on the Anglo-Iraqi war, but about the Iraq force, and the Anglo-Iraqi war would have to be a video on its own. During the early Anglo-Iraqi war, the Nazis and Italians sent aircraft as part of Special Staff F to aid Arab nationalists against British in World War II. Additional Axis support came through Vichy-controlled Lebanon and Syria, which would become the Iraq force's next target after Iraq. On June 18th, Lieutenant General Quinnan was given command of all British and Commonwealth forces in Iraq. Beforehand, the Iraq force's control was more or less limited to the forces landing at and advancing from Basra during the British operations against Rashid Ali's government. In June and July in 1941, after Iraq was secured, elements of the Iraq force took part in the Syria-Lebanon campaign, and while active in Syria, they once more came under the authority of Cairo's headquarters. The Syria-Lebanon campaign of World War II saw the British and Commonwealth forces defeat the numerically superior Vichy French who were supported by the Germans. In late August of 1941, the Iraq force took part in the Anglo-Soviet invasion of Persia in conjunction with forces from in the advancing Soviet Union. A new formation, Hazel Force, based on the 2nd Indian Armored Brigade, was formed within Iraq Command during this operation for the Iraq force to take part in. On September 1, 1941, after Persia was invaded, Iraq Command was renamed Persia and Iraq Force, PAI Force, in other words. PAI Force was still commanded by Lieutenant General Quinnan, and he still reported to India Command. Iraq Force was variously responsible to General Headquarters India Middle East Command and then Persia and Iraq Command. I won't get into the details of the Anglo-Soviet invasion and occupation of Persia in World War II, as with the Anglo-Iraqi War, it would need to be its own video. The Iraq force created and manned forward defenses against a possible German invasion from the north through the Caucasus in 1942, but after the Battle of Stalingrad, the Iraq force was used to transit supplies to the Soviet Union before being divided between joining the Burma Theater and Western Desert Campaign. Did you know about the Iraq force before this video? Let me know in the comments, and thank you for watching.